Binance is the largest cryptocurrency exchange platform globally in terms of market capitalization. It has more than 350 token and more than 100 billion volume traded in the day, also the safest and security exchange in the world. Binance provides a crypto wallet for its traders, where they can store their electronic funds. The exchange also has supporting programs that help traders make investment decisions. So hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to buy and trade on Binance step by step, so you can easily follow along with this video. And with that being said, let's jump right into it. Alright, so the first step is to go ahead and sign up for a new Binance account. So you can just head over to Binance.com. And then you'll be getting to this page you see right here. Now depending on when you watch this video in the future, this might look a bit different for you, just make sure to actually go to Binance.com. And then you'll be on the correct page. And once you're here, you can just click on register now on the left side, or here in the top where it says register. Either one of these buttons will work. And then once your account is verified, you're going to see this little verified icon here on the right side of your identity verification window. So once you see that then you're basically ready to fund your account with FIA currency and start buying some cryptocurrency. So after the registration done, put in your email address and choose a password, or you could do it with your smartphone as well. Once you do have your account set up and you've gone through all those processes, we can first though that's come out of our dashboard and we're going to come into the simplest way to buy cryptocurrencies on finance, which is with a credit card. So we're going to come right here to credit debit card, buy crypto, and then we can come in and essentially just give them our card details and we can come and buy it now. This is the simplest way by Nance really acting like a broker in this instance. And you can see right now, this is BTC. So this is Bitcoin and you can see the chart right here. This is the one day chart. You can also see the one hour chart. You can also see some cross rates right here. So this is Bitcoin against the US dollar. And we have Ethereum here and links. So there are a few different currencies right here that you can see it crossed against. Now if you do want to just pay in dollars, you can come right here, you can see the payment currency is in dollars. But you can of course, choose absolutely any currency, let's just use dollars for now. Then you can choose in dollars, how much Bitcoin you want to buy. So let's say you want to buy 100 US dollars worth of Bitcoin. It will tell you right down here, how many Bitcoins you can actually get for that. You can also change maybe if you want to buy something else. So you know if I want to buy Ethereum, I can just click right here the chart is going to come up. So that's very easy. And you can see that $100 equals 0.113 Ethereum. Let's just go back to Bitcoin though. So we can search in here BTC like this. And then you can pay $100 for some Bitcoin. Then you can just simply add a new card right here. And you can see they can take Visa and MasterCard. Just coming down, though obviously important. Confirm your payment details. Confirm some safety checks. And then you can complete the payment. It's as simple as that. If you just come down to buy BTC right now, you do have to verify your identity to actually purchase. So let's click on verify now. What is required is your first and last name, date of birth, residential address, and then a form of photo ID. If you're in the UK, a driving license is going to be perfect. Other countries, of course, just choose the most suitable one. So if you just go to start right here, put in your information, go through, and then you'll be able to put in your card details after that. And once it's approved, that will all be in there for you to use. Using the card to buy though, is the most expensive way to do it. So other ways of actually depositing money into Binance is coming back up to here, and then coming to a bank deposit right here. And this is essentially the same thing. But you can see right now, we are depositing funds. And you can either deposit cryptocurrencies, or fiat currencies. And you can choose between them here. So by just go to crypto, wherever you have those cryptocurrencies stored, then you can scan the QR code right here, or you can copy the address now. This is the address of your Binance account. So if somebody else or yourself in another account has Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency that is accepted with Binance, then you will have to put the address in on that service or app. So you can either scan or you can copy the address right here. Now cryptocurrency transactions are non-refundable. So it's extremely important that you get the correct information. And all of that information is here for you to literally copy and paste into the other platform. Now there are fees to transfer cryptos between services. And this is an industry standard thing. It's very small. They're usually called gas fees. So just be aware of that. But if you want to deposit fiat currencies as well, 
you can just choose a currency that you want to deposit they most of them are accepted. And then as you can see, it's a lot cheaper to actually deposit funds. So you can use a SWIFT payment setting or a silver game or a silver gate bank payment. And both of these are actually free of charge. So certainly a lot cheaper than buying cryptocurrencies with a credit card, that's for sure. You just have to verify your information, just like we did with the credit card right here. Once you have completed your ID verification, the limits do increase. So you can actually deposit 5,000 US dollars worth per day to actually give to Binance withdrawing is a very similar thing. So for just click on withdraw, you can see what you want to withdraw. Do you want to withdraw a crypto? So that will obviously go to a different type of cryptocurrency wallet. And again, you just have to make sure that all of the addresses are in their recipient's Bitcoin address. Make sure that the other platform that you're using you know that information, and when it comes to fiat currencies, you can obviously withdraw US dollars or pound sterling. Whatever you have in their withdrawal info again, that is just your personal information or your history will be here for you. So we know how to deposit fiat currencies and other cryptocurrencies into Binance. How do you actually sell them? So if you have some Bitcoin in Binance, how do you sell that and actually possibly sell it for other cryptocurrencies? Or maybe transfer that into US dollars? There isn't actually an option up here that says sell cryptocurrencies, but all we have to do is come into credit debit card like this, and instead of buying crypto as you can see right here, we'll just come to sell cryptos, we have to click on this very small link right here. So what you can do is sell anything that you have an account, and I do have some Bitcoin on account, and it gives you your balance right here. So you can actually enter that amount. So let's come down to the currency that we want to receive. So I'm just going to put USD in here, and click on that. And then you can input the amount now. I think the minimum transaction amount if you want to sell a cryptocurrency into a fiat currency is $100. So yes, it as you can see here, it's $100. So if you just put the amount of the cryptocurrency that you want to sell, and it's going to give you an exchange rate at the current time, whatever that may be, and the minimum is $100 for you, then you can just go to next, and it again is the simple information that you need to put on account to trade. If you are a complete beginner that really is the basics of buying and selling cryptocurrencies, with Binance you can use credit and debit cards, or a cheaper option. And one that I would recommend over buying with credit cards is a bank deposit, because this is a cheaper option. As you can see the fees are nothing to actually deposit cash, the buying and selling fees are very slim as well compared to buying with a credit card selling is also the same with $100 limit, but there is a second more advanced one way of actually trade cryptocurrencies on Binance both buying and selling. And I think it's really important to know that Binance can do this because Binance is one of the biggest cryptocurrency exchanges in the world. And you can think of it more like the New York Stock Exchange or the NASDAQ where you have many, many different traders coming to actually trade cryptocurrencies on Binance trading fees are much, much lower and liquidity is much, much higher and it's good to know this. So what I'm going to do first is just come to markets. This is a great way to see the spot market in cryptocurrencies. So you can see many different crypto pairs trading right now, you can also come and search for them and see all of the percentage changes. Now, buying cryptocurrency with your credit cards, obviously very simple. But if you do have assets and holdings of cryptocurrencies, you're going to want to see how the prices are changing every day. And this is how you do it. There are many different cryptocurrencies pairs trading right now. As you can see, these are some of the most popular. Now we can click on these and actually go into the trading screen from Binance. Or you can come right up to here and click on trade. Now there's a couple of ways to do this. The easiest way is to let Binance do this. What I'm going to come on to first though, is the trading screen and there's two options you have a classic and advanced. Now, if you're brand new and a beginner to Binance just go for the advanced. It is not more complex or difficult to understand. It is just a newer version. So don't even bother with classic, come and click on advanced and we're going to come through to the cryptocurrency market on Binance. Right now, if you are a beginner, this screen may look just like a total mess, but it's really important to understand some of the basics here. And actually, it's not that difficult once you know. So let's go through everything. See, when you use Binance to buy a Bitcoin with your credit card, you have absolutely no choice whatsoever about the price you are paying. You're just paying whatever the market price may be at the time you press buy. But using this software right here, you can actually choose some prices that you want to get in and out at. This is more like a professional trading setup. 
So what we can see is the currency pair that we're trading right now, and you can search for pretty much every currency pair. So we are looking right here at BTC or Bitcoin currency pairs right now. Now what you can see right here is that this is Bitcoin against USDT, which is a US dollar tether. So this cryptocurrency is supposed to actually follow the value of the US dollar. And so what you're essentially trading is Bitcoin versus the US dollar right here. You can search for any currency pair that you want. So maybe if I type in BNB, here we can see Binance coin against Bitcoin. So if we click on this right here, you can see all of this changes. So now, this is the market for Binance coin versus Bitcoin. But I'm just gonna go back to right here, USD like this. Click on this one, and then just choose BTC. And then we have Bitcoin against the US dollar tether. Now this isn't a specific cryptocurrency trading tutorial. That's obviously way more in depth. You can definitely check out the channel for those videos though if you want to go more into technical analysis and charting. But for now, the basics are this is the chart right here of Bitcoin versus the US dollar tether. And of course, Bitcoin is very positive right now and is in the midst of a bull run. So we can see this move up here. What you can see right here is the volume of trades. So obviously, the higher the bar chart, the higher the volume or the higher the number of trades. And obviously the value of those trades is and red and green represent up green up red down. So right here, there was a very volatile and heavily traded dip. And for the most part, the volume is actually on the upside with these green bars right here. You can see that this green bar with the high volume corresponds to these green movements up here. Now this is a candlestick chart. So green is up and then red is down. Each time period for these bars though, I think will be maybe a week or a day and you can actually change this. So we can choose the one week chart right here, the one month chart right here. You can even choose a day or a three day chart right here. So you can see sort of timelines. Now let's come on to the order book because this is really important to understand as well. First thing is that we are trading spot spot means that this is the market for currency exchange right now. And we don't wanna choose any of these because these are futures and margin markets. And we're not going to get into that. So the order book is right here and you can see it's actually called order book. So what you can see in red and green are bids and offers now. Bids are buyers. Everything in red is an offer. Everything in green is a bid. So all of these options you can see right here, these are different prices that people want to trade Bitcoin at. All of these prices right here are people that want to sell Bitcoin. All of the offers will be a higher price than the bids because obviously these people on the order book, I want to buy Bitcoin, but they have certain prices. And of course, if their prices were to match these prices, they would trade and execute their trades. But obviously, the bids right here are going to be a lower amount than the offers up here. You can actually join the order book. So right now, Bitcoin, you can see the price and it's moving around quite violently. But let's say, you know, 940 like this. Well, maybe you don't want to pay 940, but you want to pay 900, you can actually come and join the order book and say, hey, everyone, I'm a buyer of some Bitcoin and I want to pay 900, you can join the order book right here. And if the price gets to that level, then you will buy it. And obviously, someone will sell it to you at that price. The way that we can join the order book and place orders is right up here. So are you a buyer or a seller? Let's say I want to buy right here. Then we have three different options, a limit and a market order. Limit orders are orders where you input a price that you are willing to in this instance, buy it so you can see the price is right here 34,004 and the amount of Bitcoin. Let's say though, that you don't want to pay that, so you can actually change this. So let's come to 33,900 like this. So that is the amount of the US dollar tether currency that you want to pay per Bitcoin like this. You can come and then press buy a Bitcoin and your order will come and join these bids. So you will be down here at 33 at 33,900. And of course, that is below the current price. So, you're not going to buy them, but you will join the order book. And if the price does fall, then your order will be filled. You can also do the same for selling so if you have some to sell, you can see you accelerate here and actually changes to the last price that has gone through so 34,000. Let's say that you want to sell at 35,000. This is obviously too expensive. The market's at 33,900. So you won't sell at this price, but you can join the order book higher up. If the price goes up, then you will sell at this price 35,000 US dollar tether, and you want one Bitcoin, then obviously the price is more or less 35. 
So that would be therefore you can sell so you can join the order book either as a seller or a buyer. Or if you don't care about the price, just come to market order. The price of the US dollar tether is whatever the market may be at the time. How many bitcoins do you want to sell and I have do have someone account as you can see. So point three, you can actually sell those bitcoin. Or you can choose a percentage of your holding to sell. So maybe you only want to sell 20% of your holding. So it's going to be rounding to point one. You can then come to sell your Bitcoin at the market price. So either limit or market orders are available. Like I said, if you want a way more in-depth tutorial into this and how to actually input all of these orders and all of the charts that will be on the channel. But for now, I just want to keep it simple. So right here, if you do want to buy with US dollars, you can actually press this option. It's going to go right through to that trading screen where you can buy cryptocurrencies with your credit card. Binance is one of the biggest cryptocurrency exchanges in the world, and you can trade like this. Now if that is too difficult for you as a beginner, then you can just come and deposit some fiat currencies on pay with your credit card. But what I do like about Binance is that it has those simple options right here. And when you do become a little bit more advanced and have more confidence, you can go to those advanced trading features and really set your prices and your volumes according to exactly what you want to do. So hopefully you did enjoy today's video and found some value. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on. Thanks for watching.